सो हेलो एंड वेलकम गाइस दिस इज टेक जीनियस विथ अनदर वीडियो एंड दिस टाइम आई एम गोइंग टू रिव्यू द एस जे कैम एक्स जे फाइव थाउजेंड एक्स एलिट कैमरा इन द लास्ट वीडियो एज वी टुक अ क्लोजर लुक एट द अनबॉक्सिंग एंड द कंटेंट्स इन द पैकेजिंग ऑफ द एस जे कैम दिस टाइम वी आर गोइंग टू हैव अ कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव रिव्यू यू कैन से नॉट कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव रिव्यू एक्चुअली बट वी आर गोइंग टू टेक एन इन डेप टूर of the sj cam a sort of hands on video this time so let's get into it so before actually starting with the hands on video let's take a tour of the camera itself once again so this is the 12.4 megapixel camera lens in the front you can see the power and mode power on and off and mode button these are two led indicators one shows that the camera is on and another one is for indicating about the wifi if the wifi is turned on or off on one side here we can see there is a small speaker grill as we can see here is a small speaker grill with a wifi button and selection rocker this is the selection up and selection down button on the back side we have a 2 inch lcd display with two led indicators on the other side we have a micro sd card slot a micro usb port for charging and syncing the device and a mini hdmi output to cast your screen camera screen on a tv or any uh, hdmi display and on the bottom over here as we can see there is a microphone and on the bottom of the camera we have a lid in which we can house the battery let's take out the battery it's quite difficult to take out the battery so this is a battery we have a small tab over here to pull out the battery of the housing So this is a 900 mAh 3.3 watt hour battery. This is a lithium ion battery, which gives the battery backup for about 70 minutes on continuous 1080p recording. Let's put the battery in its place once again. And just start with the hands-on tour. so guys let's get started with the hands on part to turn on this camera we need to press the power button and once we press the power button we can see an led status indicator which shows that the camera is on so this is the basic layout or format of the camera once it once it is on on the right upper corner it shows that the microphone is on loop recording is off this sign shows that the loop recording is on or off the frame rate of the video is shown in this blue icon and how many minutes of footage can be recorded or photos can be recorded is shown over here we also have a battery indicator a clock and a calendar so This camera has a different types of modes so let's hop into them The first mode we have is the video mode or the photo mode if we select the video mode or the photo mode we get into the video layout first and if you want to hop into the photo mode to take still photos we need to press the mode or the power button once so let's do it and see what happens So after pressing the mode button we get into the photo mode to click still photos and if we press that again we get to uh, get into the different modes once again the second mode is video lapse so basically in video lapse we get to see time lapse videos in the second part we get to see slow recording which is slow motion mode so this thing helps so 
this is the slow recording mode or the slow motion mode which records slow motion videos the next part is photo lapse so in photo lapse we get to click photos at equal interval of time this is basically a photo form of time lapse or video lapse then we have a burst mode in burst mode we have different options click photos continuously the next uh, the next option is long exposure photos long exposure photos are basically used in for clicking photos in low light then this mode is underwater mode as you know as you people know that this camera is waterproof of up to 30 meters so this mode can be used while going underwater or driving or camera uh, using this camera underwater the next mode over here is tv out mode so we can use the camera to watch our videos or photos on any hdmi screen on your t or your tv so this mode can be used that time another mode is uh, motion detection mode so basically what does this feature does is when your camera starts moving from one stationary place the gyro sensor gets to know about it and it starts recording automatically then the uh, next mode is car mode so basically this, uh, these action cameras are used in cars too for safety for recording as dash cameras so this mode can be used there next one is playback so these are basic this mode is basically the preview or review of the photos which you have clicked and the last one is setup mode so basically in setup mode it is the settings mode you can change your settings according to your convenience so let's get into the setting settings so in settings the first option is resolution you can set the resolution how, uh, however you want we have 4k at 24 frames per second 2k at 30 frames per second 1080p at 60 frames per second 1080p at 30 frames per second and more to go so I always prefer recording in 1080p 60 fps then the next option is loop recording so in this feature basically the camera records if you select for loop recording for three minutes i've turned it off if you select loop recording for three minutes the camera will record for three minutes then stop and again start recording for three minutes the best feature feature over here is the gyro sensor i always keep the gyro sensor off which helps me to get less shaky videos then volume, audio, timestamp, date stamp, TV mode. TV mode is used for just I said earlier, it is used to cast your camera screen onto your TV screen. And there are lots of other settings options. So guys, I have some sample time lapse footages and footages with the gyro stabilizer on and off so let's check them out first Fill me up with your smile now the sunshine brings the light Fill me out with a flame I will let you in this game
so let's talk about the quality of this camera this quality the camera costed me something uh, about 12900 rupees which is almost 13000 rupees according to me this is the best budget camera best budget action camera actually i can say as compared to gopro this camera gives you a hell lot of accessories to use we get something about 10 to 15 mounts and accessories along with the packaging you don't have to spend a single rupee for buying any mounts or uh, mounts so i would suggest this camera as the best action camera you can get in the market the low light performance of this camera is quite a bit low as compared to gopro but i am pretty happy with this camera i am using this camera for my moto vlogs i have a moto vlogs channel i link that channel into the i button up here and the build quality talking about the build quality the build quality is quite good you have a good rubberized textured finish on the camera the waterproof housing is also really nice i haven't tested in underwater but as i'll get a chance i'd surely do that and post it on the youtube channel of mine the image quality of this camera is really really very good as compared to other cheap action cameras so i would suggest and recommend you guys those who are looking for an action camera in a budget price i would say that rather than going for expensive gopros go for this sj cam sj 5000 x elite this is a best buy for beginners for uh, beginners looking for action cameras for moto vlogging or any other stuff this is the best camera i would suggest you all to buy so that's it for the review and hands on and yes this is absolutely the best budget camera in the market you can get so go for sj cam if you have liked this video please 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 like comment share and subscribe and if you have any tech related queries let me know them just post them in the comments below comment section below and i'll surely i'll make sure that i'll reply to every comment of yours thank you